Congratulations to Evil Geniuses, your MLG Anaheim 2014 champions. Woo. Well done, guys. Congratulations to all of you. I will throw it straight back up to Pugget and Fwiz in the booth to close out. YouTube, I'm the fuck you doing? I'm Nate Shai, sir. Full blood, zero code, mods, TV, car, mod, a crim, mod, mix, parasite, pass through, we have a hatchet, fuck it, rainbows, nameless, number, study. Hey guys, Drifter here, you're watching Greg FPS. Hey, what is going on guys? Greg FPS. Today what I have for you guys is a recap of MLG Anaheim, the awesome Call of Duty tournament that went on this past weekend, guys. It was insane. So I'm gonna recap it here for you guys. So as you saw from the beginning clip, Evil Geniuses was able to take out the win against Optic Gaming in the winner's finals or the overall finals, grand finals, I guess you could say. And it was actually really, really crazy. But first, I'm going to talk about everyone who won and lost in the winner's bracket. And then we'll get to the loser's bracket and all that sort of stuff. So first off, guys, TCM Gaming lost to Phase Red, which was kind of expected. Team Caliber B Epsilon, which was expected as well. And then Denial actually was able to take out Curse Black in the first round. Now this was a double elimination tournament, so those teams moved on to the losers bracket. Now TCM Gaming and Curse Black were able to go into the losers bracket right off the bat and win all the way until the semi-finals of the losers bracket, which was absolutely insane. They had to win about three or four games each to be able to advance that far, and it was insane. And TCM Gaming was actually able to beat Curse Black in the finals, which was insane because TCM Gaming is a European team. No European team has ever made it inside the top eight ever in an MLG event. So they were actually the first team to do so, and they were actually the first team to come in top three. So they set a new bar and kind of put some more European teams on the radar, which is great for everyone who's from Europe and plays competitive Call of Duty. It was really, really insane, and it was awesome to witness. And basically what ended up happening was TCM Gaming lost to Optic when they were in the losers finals. Optic was able to take out Denial and Envious 3-0, which was kind of insane. Like those games were going by crazy. And it was really crazy that they 3-0'd Team Envious. I was not expecting that. But overall, it was a great, great event. Evil Geniuses also steamrolled everyone they played. They lost one map to Phase Red, which Phase Red is a really good team. They just didn't do too well in this tournament. And Evil Geniuses and Optic Gaming faced off in the winner's final. Now Evil Geniuses 3-0'd them, sending Optic to the loser's bracket for the loser's final to actually play against Curse Black and, I mean, TCM, sorry, and TCM just got steamrolled by Optic 3-0. So then it went back into the winner's bracket or the grand final, I guess, and Optic was actually able to win the first set of three maps which was they won 3-1 which is really really crazy and that kind of spiraled into the actual final final game because it was double elimination so evil geniuses had to lose one in order to play this last game and optic ended up getting 3-0'd it kind of sucks for everyone at optic but overall it was a great great series and if you're a call of duty fan you would have definitely definitely enjoyed it it was overall really awesome now there's also an open bracket event that took place this weekend as well and optic nation the other optic team actually made it in so they're going to be facing off in league season three along with the other eight primary teams that we saw that are from the united states which are phase red team caliber curse black denial team caliber team envious optic and evil geniuses and that was really really awesome as well so i'm really excited for them i think vex made it as well and maybe fuse or some other teams i don't know the exact names i haven't really been keeping track but overall i'm happy optic nation made it they were actually the winner of the 192 team open bracket so i'm happy they won and optic came in second place overall there was an eighty thousand dollar prize pool for everyone in the actual MLG event so Evil Geniuses got the most money from there and I'm actually pretty happy that they won although I wanted Optic to win they definitely deserve it Evil Geniuses is by far the best team ever and they probably should have won X Games and they were really really upset about not getting it uh, Aix put the bronze medal actually on his Xbox One while he's playing 
because he was really salty about it. He really, really wanted to win, and so did everybody else on Evil Geniuses. Aix and TP have never lost a tournament at MLG Anaheim, which is also a crazy piece of information. And it overall was just a great, great event. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was just a recap of MLG Anaheim. And I overall love doing these videos, guys. It's really cool touching on esports. And I really, really get into it whenever the big tournaments happen like UMG or any MLG events. So thank you so much for watching, guys. This has been Greg FPS, And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.